Welcome back to the EB2 LED light build. Today we're going to go over a little bit of electrical and uh, we're going to see if we can move on from there. So let's get down here and take a look at what we got for you. As you can see here, the power switch is already wired in. Um, and also the dimmer switch. The dimmer control, I should say. And what we'll do is we'll start with the dimmer control first to show you the wiring. And we have the dimmer wires that come in here, which are the black and gray. They come in, followed around, and they go to the potentiometer. And to the two top pins. Um, I use heat shrink tubing on here just in case of the possibility of the two wires coming together and making contact and causing flickering and such on the light. Okay, since we're over on this side, we'll move back over to the DC, which goes to the LEDs. We have the brown and the blue. So we follow that out and around. We come into here, and you see the... it's red now. And the blue. Uh, the blue is the, um, I guess you call it the negative, and the red is the positive, which would be the brown from the driver. Uh, these come out through a little channel here, a little notch, a little rubber safety rig there, and another one here for that when we poke her down through for the, uh, the LED strips. And we have the same going on on this side over here. And for the uh, power coming into this thing, we have your typical little plug here for your cord for your AC from your wall. And then you can see the top center pin there is the ground. And the two on the side is the line and neutral. Um, the line and neutral comes out and around and goes to the switch. Uh, power coming in from the wall goes to the top of the switch. With your neutral, um, we'll call it top right. And uh, your neutral and your line goes, which is the black one. Oh, I'm sorry, I got that root. Yeah, your line, which is the black one, goes across to the bottom one here and then when we go to the driver's side for this flip the switch um, we have the main line coming in then it branches off you can see one wire coming up to here and another one's kind of the brown one hitting and going into the bottom down there and that's how we get power to the driver the green wire down there coming out is the ground. Um, that's looped around and put into a splitter. And also connected over here that is grounded to the um, aluminum frame. Uh, it's also grounded directly through the driver also, but uh, the more the merrier in that case. And inside the case here that green wire is split and then it goes to the AC side to ground it. And uh, that's uh, about it for now. I'm going to see if I can piece this together and get you on through the other side. Uh, well, we are now down to the um, DC output, uh, going to the LED strips. The red positive wire you can see coming out of the, uh, the electrical box here. And the negative here coming out of electrical box. And it's put through little rubber grommet things here to uh, prevent chafing. And there we go. So let's flip it over and take a look at the other side. On this side, um, as you can see here, actually that wire was changed. 
um, ran into a little bit of a problem trying to get the strands into the uh, to the connector point. Um, what it was basically is the, the highly flexible silicone wire has uh, probably three or four uh, the amount of strands of copper wire in it and it's a little bit too flimsy to try and stick in there. So we had to move up to something that was a little bit more um, more stiff, something that'll, that would be able to go through. And the way we wire this is, is uh, like I say, this here is supposed to be the black neutral wire, and you can see the negative there, and then the positive here. And it pretty well goes positive, negative, positive, negative, and by right, I should have started right here. So, this is the positive coming in, and there's the negative. We go out from the negative, into another positive and we continue that all the way across until we get to the negative uh, going out again and back to the driver. I've used some um, foil uh, duct tape here to just uh, secure the wire down. Um, it's on the other side. I don't think it's that uh, important to be uh, so pretty, especially for our, what this light is uh, to be used for. So let's flip this thing over now and uh, let's see if we can get some power to it. Uh, just bear with me here for a second. Give you a little bit of ratchet noise there. And I'm going to have to put you down for a second here. And while I got you down there, I might as well give you something uh, trippy to look at. So I'm just going to take this lamp now and... Uh, Hang it up and then we'll put some power to it. Okay, I'm going to plug in the power here. And let's move you up and see what we got. So here it is. Basically a shelf lamp. Um, little spots on the side there. There's four mounts that can be easily switched around to... Uh, for the best uh, hanging, I guess you could say. All right. Let's turn this baby on. And there we have it. Eight Bridge Lux EB2 strips. Ran at 350 milliamps. Runs pretty nice and cool. It's also on a dimmer. We can dim that pretty far down. Pretty well all too off. And there we go. That's the end of this uh, light build. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And uh, I'll do my best to get back to you. Well, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.